Are you picking this up? Can you hear me? Good. So you're the one who's been trying to get in contact with me, huh? The rookie who wants to know all about the zone and what lies within. Well, pull up a chair and listen close. We'll start at the beginning. April 26th, 1986. The day the world would change forever. The Chernobyl nuclear power station exploded in a fiery blast that could be seen from nearby towns. The deadly radiation poured out like a deadly flood. Respecting no border, political affiliation, class, race, or sex, it just swarmed and killed and remains a threat to every stalker, even today. But let's not lose focus here. On April 12, 2006, a new explosion erupted somewhere near the power plant with a bright light that evaporated clouds and triggered a devastating earthquake. On June 10th, the first emission occurred and the zone expanded by five kilometers. Those higher up government officials who knew the explosion zone was full of secret laboratories, it was clear to them that the first emission was a man-made event. Now, I know what you're thinking sitting there near the cordon in your cozy bunker? Who would be so twisted as to purposefully create a place as horrid as the zone? Well, maybe it's not so black and white as all that. You know, my father once told me the road to hell is paved with good intentions. Maybe the road that created the zone was paved in a similar fashion. Anyway, the men responsible were only referred to as the group. They were experimenting on something called the Noosphere, some sort of psionic meta-dimension that covers the whole planet that the eggheads say links all humans to each other. A lot of five dollar words and mumbo jumbo, I say. Whatever the group was working on, it went wrong. Or maybe it went right. Either way, it tore some kind of rift in the noosphere, and from it, the zone was born, with its riches and its horrors. That's not to say all the news is bad. If you've got the guts, the skill, and you can bribe some tired military official to let you in, the zone offers many opportunities for... business. Some who come here resorted to petty banditry, of course picking corpses, scavenging crumbs, and hustling for pennies. Others are hired guns for foreign interest, looking to make a sweet payday, harvesting some of the sought-after treasures the zone holds within. Some came to the zone looking for a cause to fight for, and there's no shortage of those types around here. Waving flags, carrying insignia, getting into squabbles over their ideologies. Regardless of who you might team up with during your time in the zone, Everyone has different opinions about it. Some say the zone is impossible to understand, that it warps reality and the human brain just can't comprehend it. Some say the zone is alive, that it's a living thing that wants to spread and engulf the world. Some think the zone is an opportunity that carries with it the means to benefit mankind. What do I think? I think there are as many opinions about what the zone is or wants as there are stalkers that hold those opinions. One thing is for certain, the zone can indeed bless you with great fortunes. But if you let your guard down or fail to respect the power of the zone for even a moment, the mutants, the anomalies, or the more sinister human element will snatch that life from your body before you even know you're dead. But those those are topics for another time. I have to sign off now. I'll contact you again and we can talk again soon. Over and out.